Hello, welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Jack Payne. <laughs> Ah, the mysterious footballing wonder that is Jack Payne. He's often loved by some Rover supporters, but for me, there's something not right about this lad. But don't get me wrong, the kid has talent. The boy likes to have the ball, however, more often than not, in a Rover shirt, whenever he has the ball, it's not long before the opposition knock him over. Now Jack needs to bulk up this summer if he's to get another crack at the whip at Ewood Park. However, will the lad go out of his way to focus on his balance and strength of the summer, or will he live it up large with the lads? The Jack Payne we got was not the Jack Payne that played earlier in League One with Oxford United. He was a different entity then. What baffles me more is that Payne was part of the Huddersfield side that got promoted to the Premier League, so he might have what it takes at the Championship. It's just a real strange one. But okay, let's cut to the chase. Should Rovers be interested in Payne for the 2018-2019 season? Possibly. But let's just see what other options are out there first. I would not rule it out, as the kid has some talent. However, as for a season rating at Rovers, it's going to be a bad one, folks. C- minus for the pain in my ass. So let's take a look at Jack Payne's statistics for this season, all in all. Uh, he was involved in 54 matches this season. Now that includes his time at Oxford. Uh, he also played a good bunch of games for them. He actually scored eight goals this season. Again, he only just got the I think he only just got the one for uh, Blackburn Rovers. 11 assists. He actually played 66% of all possible game time for himself this season. He was actually substituted on uh, 15 times and brought off 21 times. He got two yellow cards for his efforts. As for League One, again, this is uh, Oxford and Rovers combined. 46 games for Jack Payne, 22 wins, 13 draws, 11 defeats. He actually scored four goals in League One, which equals about, about 0.09 goals per game. All in all, he was involved in 2,815 minutes of first team football in his last five ma ma matches uh, for Blackburn Rovers. Looked like this two wins, two draws, and a defeat. Jack Payne uh, also suffered one defeat in the previous 18 games. Um, he also scored in 9% of all games he participated in. He was involved in a four-game winning streak for Blackburn Rovers. And it also involved in a, a four-game uh, run without a win. And it looks like that was mainly his time in Oxford. And that was also a three-game losing streak for Jack Payne. He was also involved in a 16-game uh, run without a defeat. And he scored just the one goal in uh, in succession and he also went on 26 game run without scoring a goal now here we have a look at his numbers there it is that one goal up against oxford united which is quite bizarre because he played for oxford united and he actually scored against blackburn rovers which is a little bit bizarre but yeah you could say you could see he was definitely more the main man at oxford than he was at blackburn rovers and he was given a hard time by myself this season so um He's, he is a player. He, he, he can play football. He's, he's just a bit too lightweight for me. Um, he just, you know, when you've got Bradley Dack and Adam Armstrong on the books, it's just hard to compare uh, the lad up against those guys because they're, they're strong. They're a lot stronger than he is. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's definitely got the skills and the talent. I just think he needs to beef up a bit. And then, uh, yeah. Then we'll, then we'll see where he goes. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.